And now, CBS2 brings you the top stories covering the corridor tonight. Good evening. I'm Scott Sanborn. Tiffany O'Donnell is off tonight. We begin in Cedar Rapids, where in less than 10 days, the group deciding whether Cedar Rapids will get a new casino will pay a visit. Supporters of the casino effort are getting ready for the visit, which comes just two weeks before a final decision. CBS2 News reporter Matt Hamill is live in Cedar Rapids tonight with more. Matt? It's got it's a full slate of events as Cedar Rapids gets ready to roll out the red carpet for its one big chance to impress the Gaming Commission next Thursday. With a $150 million casino on the line, developers and city leaders want Cedar Rapids shining like a new penny and supporters fired up. It starts the night before with a pep rally here at Dublin City Pub. The next morning, people are asked to wear white shirts and line First Avenue as racing and gaming commissioners drive in to tour the Cedar Crossing site. Then it's on to the double tree where all those white shirts can pack the exhibit hall for the commission meeting. I have people say, what can I do? How can I help? Well, Mayor Ron Corbett says you can feel the excitement starting to build. You know, I'm hopeful we get hundreds of people to come out next Thursday, April 3rd, around 9, 9.30, and uh, really show the commission that the community supports uh, this casino. In addition to seeing all those supporters, gaming commissioners will be taken on a tour of the flood devastation that remains and proof of the hard work building for recovery that could still use an extra boost. Show them that, oh, well, we've made some progress in the community since our, our flood. We still have a, a lot of work to do and how important this casino can be for west side development and helping to fund flood protection. Now, the Gaming Commission considers nearly 20 different criteria in considering whether someone gets a gambling license, but community support is always at the top of that list. Covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids, Matt Hamill, CBS2 News.